Hello, everybody, and welcome back to part two of the Superhero Arc Reactor uh, Affinity Designer tutorial. Um, this is what we're making. If you're coming here uh, before you've seen part one, make sure you check the notes below, and I'll have a link to part one. Uh, last time we got about this far on it, and uh, I think this is just going to be one more part. I think we can get this finished up. So where we're at uh, we got a lot of the grunt work done now we're going to go in and uh, just put some uh, final touches on this still going to take a bit but uh see where we're at i think the next thing i want to do is put this drop shadow on these uh clips here and then we're going to go in and get the center and then we're going to do the uh the sides like that okay so from here though we can get rid of this picture uh, we, I don't think we need the reference anymore. Uh, we might bring it back up, but uh, I don't think we need it. Let's just take everything. Select it and... Okay, so we're just going to move that to the center now. And let's get going so we want to find our one of our clips let's do it to the top one but remember these are all symbols and connected so whatever we do to this will in fact do it to all so let's go to the effects uh, outer shadow is a drop shadow for those who um, I used to call it a drop shadow Okay, so we want the offset. So we're kind of using this shadow to look more like sides to these clips rather than uh, faded. Um, you know, rather than being faded. So what we want to do is crank the opac opacity up and get the color just kind of a darker shade we don't want like full black and then I actually do just want a little bit of radius on it just so it's not such a harsh color or harsh edge and then we're just gonna play with this a little bit so the good thing about doing um, creating shapes in or symbols in affinity is when you apply effects to them, they they still apply them to where their position is. So here, for instance, the shadow is going down on the top and down on the bottom, but it's it's not it's reflecting properly throughout all of them. They don't all have like this one here doesn't have the harsh edge here as it turns around. It's reflecting as the light would reflect. So let's go. I kind of like that. Yeah, maybe I do like the 315. Yeah, okay. I like 315 degrees. Um, so I think that's going to be default for most people. Okay, so we got that. Um, we have that ring on the outside or on the inside that I want to do. Okay, let's do... You know what, let me show you how to do the uh, lights here, because that's actually kind of fun, and we're going to start getting... That's going to start looking a lot better when we start doing that. Okay, so here's our light group. Again... We're going to start using effects. Affinity's got really powerful effects. We're going to start using them to our advantage. And we're going to duplicate. Command J. And let's turn this one off for a minute. Let's go to this one. Apply a Gaussian blur to this whole thing. And... Yeah, let's give this one like 3.4. Give it a nice... Well, actually, this one... 
Actually, hold on. The bottom one will just blur about one point. Okay. Then we're going to go to this one. This one's also going to get blurred. This one we will blur more. And what we're going to do to this is give it a, uh, a different layer style here. Uh, we're going to go to screen. Uh, if you don't know about these, I might do another video just to kind of cover all these. But nowadays, you don't need to know too much about them. You're just going to scroll through them and see what you like best. Uh, but screen is going to whiten these up quite a bit. Um, and we're going to do one more. I believe I did three on this one. Okay, so the last one we're going to do is going to be, I actually brought it out more to really give it like a harsh blur. Okay. And then this one I brought out, but I still, uh, I dropped the opacity in it a little bit, so it's not so, and I think, you know what? I think this one belongs on the bottom. And, Drop the opacity on it a bit. And this compared to that. Let's go. Let's go to this top one and drop the opacity as well. So you can kind of do it to your liking and kind of play around with this a little bit, but that's that's kind of how you get that glow effect is you're just gonna, um, you're just gonna blur out three layers and kind of play with them how you like. Oh, you know what? This layer should be screen as well. Oops. I'm sorry, this one should be set to normal. And this one should be screen, and then we're gonna drop the opacity on this. Ah, I take that back. Go overlay on it. And then, you know, I think what's getting me here is the uh, colors that we initially chose aren't quite as bright. Like these are pretty much white and like a teal. So I think that's what's kind of making this not look as bright. Uh, let's go to the this symbol here. Um, like I said, any of them are going to be, any of these we pick, they're all linked together. So let's go ahead and get a little closer to the white up here. Maybe not full white, but real close. Uh, and then let's pick one of these blue ones. Let's go a little more to the greenish teal color. And then we're going to lighten that up too. And then that's looking a little more like that one. Okay, so the next, so I mean, so as you can see how powerful symbols are, um, otherwise we would have had three layers worth of every other color to go through to select, just change color. So uh, symbols, definitely very powerful in Affinity Designer. So to get the inner lights here, which would be the next thing, uh, we're gonna do it a little different this time just to speed it up. Uh, on this particular version, I did go in and make new longer ones and uh, copy them around the same way 
so if you don't remember how to do that, just refer back to the first one, but uh, just make a new symbol, move it, and Command-J, keep duplicating it all the way around at, uh, you know, probably 10%, I'm guessing. Um, it should line back up. So just to speed this up, I'm going to duplicate this, bring it down here, and uh, we're just going to do it just a little bit different to save us some time here. So uh, let's select this and we're going to make a new group we are going to shrink it down okay we got our magnet tool on so we know we are centered uh, let's see if that looks maybe just a tad smaller Okay. Okay. So let's call this the inner group or okay. This will be inner lights and this will be outer lights. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. Whoops. Huh. Okay. Okay, new layer. Let's get a ellipse. Let's make it about that size. And no stroke. And let's have the fill just be like a white fill. Center it up. And you guessed it, we are going to blur it out. And actually, let's make that blur. Yeah, let's do that, and then we're going to uh, duplicate it. So let's make that screen, too, just to lighten it a bit. And let's duplicate it, and let's bring that one in a little bit so it looks like we got a highlight in the middle. And while it's not the exact way I did this one, uh, I still like it and I still think it works and if you wanted to do the exact same thing uh, just go ahead and hit pause or I don't know if you're working with me or going separate um, okay so let's put uh, little details we got this kind of highlight blast ring around that so let's Let's do that. Let's make another layer in here. Man, I keep, keep getting out of order that I want. Okay, so all we're going to do is a, another ellipse with just a uh, stroke on it. So let's put the fill to none. We'll make it the stroke. We'll just kind of click this blue here. And let's go in and make that a brighter blue. Let's just kind of line that up to something that looks good. And screen it so we get that brightness out of it. Uh, we are going to blur this one as well. It's looking about maybe just a little more. All right, 1.7. You can play with this as much as you want. 
Um, let's kind of make sure that that is centered though. That center, okay. Okay, that's uh, a little different in this picture. Th these ones are gonna look a little bit different, but it's gonna teach you how to do it and by all means, create your own. And uh, actually, we might even, not next video, but maybe in the future, I'll get into his new arc reactor. That's the uh, triangle one from the, the newer Avenger movies. Okay. Okay, let's do this ring. Actually, I think we can just copy this ring and put it out there. And then we're gonna do the glass dome. And yeah, I think we're gonna be looking pretty good on this. And I think this is actually behind the layer that I want it to be behind. So this, we are gonna bump up. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of color changing on this one. Okay, what is going on? So it looks like I deleted the wrong thing or somehow that got a fill on it. Man, why is this not showing up yet? Okay, so screen wasn't working. Okay, let's do multiply in this one. Obviously bring the stroke down. You know what we can do overlay should work. I'm gonna bring the blur down quite a bit on this. Let me look at the other one. Okay, I'm gonna get this pressure off. There's like a pressure on this. So I'm gonna go back and reset that pressure just so it's a straight, straight line. Two, just a little under 2.5. So about two and Get it in the middle, and even a little bit lighter on the, I think five is good, just a little bit. Okay, and that's that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now what we want to do is start putting our shadows in and we're going to do like a glass dome and kind of do these highlights and uh, oh, we got to do these. You know what? Let's do these real quick. This is real simple. Okay, new layer. Grab the pen tool. All this is is a little, let me get, turn it off for a second. Okay, that is way too big. And then this we do want pressure on. Just kind of want to dip it up. Want these to be even. Let 
You know what? I actually got an idea that I didn't do in the first one that I think would work really well for this. Actually, I want even more of a... Yeah, let's make them real sharp points. Crank that up just a bit. Okay. Shape it a little bit different. Okay, so let me do a quick idea here. If we fill this with a gradient, let's bring the black down and the white up. And then what I want to do to the white, now that I have it selected, I can change the color over here. I don't want to change the color. I want to change the opacity. Yeah, there we go. Let's zoom right in on that. Okay. And then I don't know if I want black, black on that. Let's select this and let's just make it a uh, darker gray. But yeah, okay, I'm liking that. Yeah, okay, I like that. See, so let's do this. Let's do the outer stroke just a little darker then. Not quite black, but let's get it a little up there. Okay, so, yeah, I kind of like that, how it gives it a little shadow, makes it look a little more like it's dipped in. These ones are just flat. As where that's got a little bit of depth to it. Let me just bring that shadow up a tad if I can. Well, about right there is about as high as I can get with it without it looking too wonky. Okay, but yeah, I, I, I definitely think that's a, a good improvement over the first one. So uh, let's, I guess we should make a symbol out of it. That would be smart. Just in case we do want to change it. And then um, Command J. Oh, whoops. Of course, I forgot the center here. Let's make sure we got the magnet tool on so we're in the center. Okay. I hold the shift button and I want to go two notches over. And something's off. We'll fix this in one second. Okay, we were kind of way off on that. Huh. Yeah, I went three over.
Okay. Okay, so now that we have this, let's um, select this, and we're going to go all the way around with it. Uh, the thing is this. From here to here, when you're lining them up, it's a little bit easier to put them next to each other and know kind of how many degrees and adjust the degrees. When you're kind of doing a bigger gap like this, it's a little bit harder to do to guess the right degrees that you want to go around. We're going to try it real quick, but um, if it doesn't work, I'm going to show you another way to do this that'll make it easier. So we're going to Command J, duplicate that. Um, uh, okay, so we want to make sure, remember now, if we try to just move it like this, it's just going to move like that. So we want to do the center point. And we want to make sure we get the center point in the middle. And so we want to make sure we're in the middle middle. That's when you get a lot of layers going like this. You don't know if the middle's here or here. Uh, I think that's the center of the bigger one. So that should be good. Uh, we're going to now grab it. Hold shift. Move it out. Uh, okay, so if we go 30... Let's see if this works. Whoa. What happened there? Uh, if something like that, so stuff like that happens every now and then. Man. That is a weird one. Okay, let's do this. If that happens, you got to do a reset. It does happen every now and then. Heard of that for one second and zoom right in. We got to pretty much line it up as much as we can. I mean, that's close enough. Let me just put our center point right in the middle so we can get this. Okay, there we are. Okay, now let's put it back in the middle. Let me double check that that's, that's the proper middle. And then holding now we're at 60 and hopefully now okay it looks like it didn't auto okay 90 okay and see how we kind of reset ourselves now so if that bug happens okay and we're good that actually did line up uh, Sometimes when your gaps are a little bit further and you're trying to eyeball it, you definitely want to hold the shift key to do this. If not, an easy way to do it, if you're just not getting in, it's just not lining up right, uh, an easy way to do it is to just do 90 degrees. So you take one, you would go 90, 90, 90, and then duplicate that and kind of turn that so you'd have it here, here, um, you know what I mean? Kind of do it like that and line it up that way uh, is another option. So some of these are just a tad off, but that's not going to be a big deal to fix. Let's let's move all of them just kind of right to the edge real quick. Oops. Let's just start at the top. Yeah, I actually kind of like how it goes right to the edge. I think that we got a little, 
Oops. I think we got a little off when we moved that one around, but I like it. So sometimes when you're trying to select stuff, you just got to use the layers. Or you can go in, you're going to have to turn and unlock. Or you're going to have to lock some of the higher layers that it's hitting. And I think from here, we're pretty much good. Yeah, then it starts getting it on the outside here. Okay. Okay, cool. I like that. Let me just dip this one. I put up a little too high. You can always try to double click on the layer if it's not selected properly. Okay, cool. You know what? I think that little shadow and putting it to the end is really did a lot. I mean, that really gives it a, a different kind of feel, more finished feel. I might go back into this one and touch that one up a little bit. Um, so let's look at where we are. Okay, I, I think it's pretty much time for some extra shadowing and the dome. And we're really, man, we're really, really close to getting this done here. Okay, let me just look at something here. I just forget how I did something I want to see. Okay. Okay. So let's first go in and get this. See how this just got such a harsh light to dark shadow. All that is is the uh, gradient tool. And did I put that on the wrong? I did. Okay, we don't want it on the texture. We want it on the the below the texture and man why am i not okay first things first this okay that is set to overlay if for some reason you're trying to drag and you just can't get it okay we did get it that time but if you can't get it go ahead and add a uh a fill uh, you know, switch it to the, uh, just do it manually and go back in. Okay. So we got this backwards. So let me just kind of go black here, white up here. And let's stretch this out and get a little more detail in this by kind of making this even darker. It's like right at the edge, it has like a little bit more of a fall off. Just kind of bring it up or down a little bit. You just want to play with it. Actually, the middle might be okay with this one. It's fine right there. Okay, so let's bring this one to the edge and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put a highlight on it. So this one, we're gonna make white. And I'm going to put that up so it's just like a super little highlight. Bring it down a little bit. And that looks about right. Might be a little bit more of a highlight on this one, but uh, we got that. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and get the dome on this. So rather than remaking another ellipse and trying to guess, we're just going to copy one of these ellipses here. Okay, so let's duplicate that and let's bring that all the way up to the top. And let's start closing some of these layers. So this we'll just call glass one. OK. 
Okay. Um, first, we're going to want to screen this one. And you want to go like white on it. About there. And you guessed it. We are going to do another. Another gradient and okay this gradient we want to do radial so we just want the edges of this to be white and then be opaque in the middle so that's exactly what we're gonna do so we're gonna drop the opacity down to nothing and then the outside here You know, we're going to kind of play with a good kind of outside color. And then actually white might not even. Yeah, okay. I mean, we've got to play with kind of the highlight we want, but actually I might. Okay. Okay, so that's step one. The glass here, we, we need to build up a couple different layers on this. So we're gonna create another one, duplicate that again. Uh, this one, we're gonna make the, oh, uh, I had that, okay. That was doing something that I, didn't realize it was doing. So what was going on is this, I had my endpoints on the wrong spot. So this is the outer and this is the inner emulating out this way, uh, but that's fine. It created like a nice little highlight there. Uh, but now what I wanna do is put this in the middle and we wanna make sure we get the, the center of this circle that we're in, bring that to the edge. And we actually wanna, uh, switch this around so this is going to be the white and then the white middle is going to be the zero opacity and then as you can see we're going to drag this to the corners and now you can see now we're starting to build up that that edge so we don't quite want it all white. We want to have like kind of a little bit of color in it. Oh, that's the, hold on, I'm sorry. This one, we don't want all white. We want to have like a little bit of color in it. So, I'm kind of play with this a little bit. Right about there looks good. And, kind of bring that in. If you want to go harsh with it, add another dot like right about there and drop that that opacity and now we really got you know that harsh harsh line for the glass okay so let's see where we're at okay so now we need one more You know we're getting really close let's just do let's just do these highlights real quick and we can actually use these this first one we did duplicate that and let's just bring this in and make it a small and kind of depending on where your light source is is where you're going to want to put this and again you know same thing as we did to the glass if you want to do like have it more uh, more of a specular you know you can do this to it And 
let's kind of put this one. Let's turn this off now because that's starting to get in our way now. Okay, I like that for one. Let's duplicate that. Let's bring another highlight. Kind of over here. Let's see how I had them laid out. Okay, so I got one, one, one. So I guess we'll put one up here. This one, let's make a little bigger. Have it kind of overlap that just a little bit to show how it is. And I think here in this one we can. Oops. Let's actually do this. Let's make the specular a little less on this one. And I believe that's, well, down here we had a little small one. I kind of like on this one how we got the, a little bit bigger of a highlight going on there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I did have one more for the glass. I think I just had a linear, maybe not. Uh, Either way, you just kind of want to build this glass area up. So, by all means, keep playing with it. That's how you learn. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm showing you an overview of kind of what I'm doing. But if you really want to learn, you know, you got to just keep doing it and just keep playing with things. Let me try this and then, okay, if I did that, let me see. So I want to put one here and then make this one no opacity. And then to really make like a harsh, okay, so this is no opacity so this one is no opacity but I want to bring the opacity up on that and this one okay have it like about 75 and then this one nothing let's kind of bring this out and then we do another zero right here to really Not quite doing what I want. Yeah, I mean it's getting a little highlight. I, I don't know if uh, uh, we can leave it on this, but that's. The whole point is just keep playing around with things. Actually, I feel like if we put another specular glow kind of right. I feel like if we put another one here and then just really drop the opacity on this layer and then, yeah you know what yeah let's do um, getting a little off track here uh, this is the kind of stuff you just you just want to play with and have fun with it but uh, yeah if we do another one of these kind of bring that in and off center it a little bit we'll get that um, uh, you know that kind of highlight on it so okay play with that a little bit we're going to be here forever if I keep playing with that but uh, I think you get what I'm doing with it and see I just can't stop 
Maybe bring that in there. All right. I think you get the point I'm trying to do with that. Uh, you know, speculars are a pretty fun thing to play with. Okay. Uh, man, I think this is done. I just want to make a couple adjustments. I feel like this texture's a little high. It's coming off really, really strong. So I just want to drop that down and possibly these textures as well. Select one of these. Select the texture layer on this. Kind of drop that down as well. Just a little bit. It's just coming off a little bit strong. Okay. That's our arc reactor. Looks like we're done. I think that's all the steps. Pretty close to the first one I created. This this was a pretty good uh, recreation of it. Let's just hurry up really quick. I'm gonna just give you a quick quick overview of the uh, like the Iron Man body there. Okay, so all I'm doing for that is let's make sure we're on the the bottom layer. Actually, now that this is done, let's group all this in the glass. Okay. And there we go, glass on and off. Definitely see what that's doing. Um, let's just group this all into an arc reactor group. That way we can just turn the whole thing on and off. Uh, and then let's make a new layer, put it underneath, and uh, that will be the armor underneath. So, oops, okay. Okay, so. Do that. Uh, the fill is going to be solid Iron Man color. So it's going to be like this orangey red. Let's, let's go right about there. Looks right. Let me just kind of. Okay. Okay, so basically for this one, I just got a bigger one. Okay, it looks like this overall arc reactor is a tad smaller than the other one. So let's fix that right now, actually. Okay. So let's just take this whole arc reactor. The whole thing's vector, so we can just resize this. No problem. And there you got it. A little bit bigger with no hassle. Okay. And this. Okay, and this is still a circle, I'm not distorting it, I'm just uh, pushing it down a little bit off center. The circle is still a perfect circle around. Um, okay, then all we want to do is uh, bevel and emboss it. Oops. Use the normal emboss for now until we can get the background on. Um, let's make the new layer real quick for the full. Background and we're going to bounce that underneath and actually uh, let me turn that off so we can uh, do this per layer. 
Okay, here we have the bevel embossed. We want it just real. Uh, okay, for this I want a pillow emboss so we can get that edge like it's going under the metal. And I just want a real light radius on it. And uh, I want to play with the direction just a little bit. Maybe bring it a little bit more to the center. And soften it just a tad. Okay. Okay, and then uh, we I did a uh, gradient on this inner one. And it was going darker towards the bottom. And the top. It got pretty dark at the bottom and then pretty light at the top. Yeah, just to kind of give some highlights and depth to it. That looks a little too harsh. Just gonna bring that up and drop that down to soften it. And, uh, so it looks like I did something a little different to that. Uh, let's just do these lines real quick. Okay, all this was was just a um, hold shift. All that is is a solid stroke, no pressure. Uh, we do see how this is rounded off here. We want to go in and make sure that it's uh, one of these. Let's do that. So caps right at the end. Uh, okay, yeah, none of those matter. Just this cap. Um, okay, we want the. Oops. I'm sorry, we want the color to be like the dark red on the outside. Why is it? Okay. Just wanted to be a solid color. Basically, all we're doing is putting a dark color next to a light color. And that's going to give us that look that we're looking for. We want to adjust this around just a little bit. get the lines we're looking for and okay all we want to do is duplicate this command J we want to use our arrow our move tool to just kind of bring it down a little bit and this one we're gonna make either lighter or darker depending on uh, which way uh, the armor is facing so See how here we got the highlight on the bottom and the dark on the top. And then down here, the highlights on the top and the darks on the bottom because of the way the light is coming in from top to bottom. So that is about it. And I think I changed the width a little bit. And let's even get this a little bit. A little bit brighter. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, command J to duplicate. Uh, you know what? Let's put that in a group. Okay, so Command G, make it a group, and then uh, let's call this lines. Just so we don't confuse ourselves. Command J. We're gonna duplicate that. 
I'm gonna go file, layer, transform, flip horizontally. Bam, hold the shift. Key down. Uh, let's move that over a little bit. That looks good. And now we can select both of these, uh, duplicate them both. You can either put them in a group or just go ahead and duplicate them both. We're gonna go to layer. Same thing, now we're gonna do flip vertically and we are gonna drag them down to wherever they line up. And that, oh, now we have to do the one quick thing. Remember I told you, uh, okay, that's this one. I guess we should have put them in a group and done a top and bottom, but what are you going to do? So we just want to move that one there. Now let's see if we can select this one. And we can. And move that there. Okay. I, I think uh, there's a little more tweaking to do here. Let me just play with this. Something's not right with this uh, emboss. Let me just look at I think I did like a stroke around it. Actually, let me just click right into it. Oh, uh, okay. I actually didn't put effects on this. I just kind of made a bigger one to go behind it. Okay, so this one let me just do it really quick okay okay so i didn't use the actual emboss effect what i did was that and then i duplicated that uh, made a bigger one dropped it behind went a tad bigger with it and went with a, uh, a solid darker color. So I would have went with whatever this is here. That's like that, okay. That's our color. And then on the inside for this one, we don't really have a stroke. So let's go pick this highlight color, turn it into that. Uh, let me see what it looks like with that sometimes. Yeah, let's get rid of the pressure on it. Okay. Okay, and then all we're going to do is drop our all the lines under this. Just that way we don't have to adjust them up. Okay. Oh, and the top lines, a uh, lot of little details. Okay, so the top lines got to come up. Uh, so I must have lined them up. There we go. Okay, so if we drag them in between these, now you're going to see that the uh, uh, these lines will match up with that and kind of make make it a little bit better okay so this is the arc reactor um i hope you guys were able to follow along i think we did we did a little different but i'm i'm pretty happy with how this second one turned out so this is the one i did originally and then i kind of like some of these newer highlights and uh yeah i i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna keep cranking out tutorials like this uh, where we just get right into it and just, you know, do by learning. Hopefully you guys are able to follow along. Uh, I only have a couple tutorials so far. Make sure if you haven't yet, see the, uh, the Captain America shield. If you haven't yet watched this affinity one, this is the other one I currently have. And then the two arc reactor part one and part two, 
Um, let me know. I'm going to start doing a lot more Infinity tutorials, so feel free to leave a comment. I know I don't have that much, but go ahead and follow me. I'm going to be putting a lot more up, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and enjoy what I have in store for the future. I'll see you guys next time.